Yo, what up, guys? My name is Jackson Explorer, and this is a new video of Combat Insanity. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is Greed vs. Bond. My season finale of season one. Yes, there's gonna be multiple seasons. And yes, I am kind of running out of ideas, so please give me an idea. <clears throat> um, so yeah, um, let's get right into this fight. First up, Greed. Greed from Full Metal Alchemist. And we're using Greed Ling. Yeah, that's kind of confusing, and I don't really want to get into it. Get into it. Practically, he has two people um, inside of him. That's really bad to say. Um, so yeah, first up is his strength. He is capable of the cut, um, cut through a large pipe, which is pretty, pretty impressive. You know, this thing is made out of iron, and he's able to make music. He could make a truck explode with one pierce. Granted, this pierce was at the engine, so yeah, not that it exploded, but that's still somewhat impressive for him able to pierce through the truck. And he's able to pierce a dude to the chest. That's just um, me reading that manga scene. That was disgusting. Um, should have not seen it. But I did. Regretted it. Um, for, for his speed, he is capable enough to keep up with Edward, which is, you know, pretty fast. But not real fast. That's the weirdest thing I ever said in this dang video. <laughs> um, and he's capable of dodging multiple sword, um, sword strikes at point blank range, and these sword strikes were moving at blinding speed. So yeah, that's a really interesting feat. And I don't say it's pathetic. I mean, it's the opposite of pathetic. Like, what the hell? And for durability, his armor is bulletproof. Since, you know, his full metal armor is the same thing as, you know, his armor in his hand. In his hand. <clears throat> but it's just in his entire body. And his armor is capable enough to be... And was deflecting bullets. What? That is really odd and kind of cool at the same time. And his armor is, and people, um, and they, and people kept. It's stated in the manga and everything else is that his armor is as hard as diamond. Uh, well. That changes a lot of things. Please scratch. Um, like Jesus Christ, you know how tough is ar uh, is um diamond? Me neither, but I'm pretty sure it's tougher than steel. Um, and he's immortal, so yeah, he's practically unkillable. For skill and intelligence, he's 200 years old of experience, and he has um. <clears throat> He practically has two brains in one, no, body. He doesn't actually, he doesn't actually have two brains, he just has like two people working on his brain. You know, um, um, Lin Yao and, um, Greed. So, yeah. That's something. But for his weaknesses, he could die. If the fall, um, if the fall officer, hello. <laughs> Phil officer, Phil officer, Phil Um, the stone, yeah, whatever. We just say the stone. Um, is destroyed, and that's actually you know fatal. Like, this is crazy. That's actually extremely a bad weakness. But, but goodly that uh, were good. That's inside of his body, and since he is, since his skin could turn into. A hard material, which could be as strong as diamond or stronger than, than it. <clears throat> That's really tough to do. And he's him and uh, greed and um, Ling Yao are pretty cocky during, or confident during battle. So being some form of cockiness. So yeah. Next up is Bond. Bond from the Seven Deadly Sins. So yeah. Let's. Get right into his strength right now. Um, he's capable of to um, um, arm wrestling, you know, 
Meliodas, and when they were arm wrestling, they destroyed a dungeon. And this dungeon, or prison, you could say, is not really small, it's like half the size of a freaking town. Well, I'm kind of exaggerating a bit, but it's really damn big. And it had a barrier on it, and they destroyed the barrier while arm wrestling and destroying the dungeon. That's just... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, curse word. Ah, he monetized. Um, well, for his... And another one, he's able to come with the crater. Um, crater. I don't, what's, up, what's up with my English today? What the hell? Um, he's able to come with the crater, crater with one, you know, literally just punch a dude down into a really big hole. As long as I went into a mom and Um, and he escaped from the... And with his weapon, he's able to bust you a, like a really thick wall. I mean, this ain't no um, this ain't no like five inch wall or like like twelve foot wall um thickness wall. This is like fifty feet thick wall. I am not exaggerating. That's like around the same same thickness of that wall. Why get? Why am I keeping things thick? Hey, whatever. Um, for his speed, he's also, um, he used an opponent's, um, sp um, swings from her sword for shading. Um, let me rephrase that. This girl was, fight, um, swinging his her swinging, <clears throat> swinging her sword at blinding speed, and he was, and he looked like he was dodging all of those attacks, but... He literally put his face near those swords, and she didn't even notice that he he used her as a shave. So, what the hell? That breaks a lot of rules of reality or physics. But whatever, let's just keep on going. And he's keeping on the keep up with Meliodas, a guy who could blitz people. So, they're being of hyper. Massively hypersonic people here. They're mess. Well, actually, making them massively hypersonic. So, for his durability, um, he has a high pain tolerance, but and he's also immortal. You know, he's not that durable. I mean, he could, he easily been impaled by a little kid, you know, a little pitch for her, like stabbing him. That's really pathetic. So he has like human durability. But his pain, by like his pain tolerance and his immort immortality, allowed him to you know regenerate from those wounds. And he really, he really doesn't give a shit, and he doesn't scream after being chopped in half. I mean, yeah, let's go to the pain tolerance. Thing. He was chopped in half, his entire arm being broken. I mean, like, and him getting like a, um a spear through the chest. You know that Facebook thing to the heart. Well, I think in the heart. I'm not fully. I'm not fully sure. Just that. What the? That's really cool. And uh, I was thinking of a word, but <laughs> I can't think of it. Hmm. Odd. But whatever. And for his skill and intelligence, he's an experience with his ability snatch. You know, that's something that he uses to, you know, snatch. Things and literally he snatched people's teeth out out of the body. So yeah. And for weaknesses, um, he doesn't really take things seriously. I mean, like in during battle, he doesn't. He really doesn't think too much of him getting injured. So he really gets a calm face, but he gets serious after the opponent's like really too powerful, like really powerful or something. And there's a limit of the things he could snatch from someone. I mean, this was shown when he um, kept on snatching, you know, Meliodas's um, muscle or strength, one of those things, making him stronger. But yet, but he couldn't, you know, get too much of it since, you know, he was pretty, uh, yeah, he was pretty much paralyzed or something. So yeah. And let's see who would win in the battle. So yeah, this was a really close match, but I gave it to um, Bond. And as soon as, you know, that 
like perfectly um, drawn um, X right there on greed. I mean, like an artist could do that. Mwah. Um, for strength, um, there was no question that um, no questions asked. Bond, Bond was extremely stronger than him. I mean, like he's capable enough to bust through a thick wall, which beats you know his best feet cutting through a large pipe. And you're probably saying, well, he rips, um, pierced a dude's chest, you know, and made a truck explode. And those are pretty interesting, but he uh, he was never shown to make a humongous crater and destroy the entire dungeon. And well, the destroying dungeon thing was helps my uh, Meliodas, but still, that's large building feet if you take half of that off. Large building to practically close of being you know multi multi um, block level or like block level. Or multi-building level, so that's really close to becoming that. So yeah. And for speed, no questions asked. Like same thing as strength, he literally did the same thing with, um, you know, greed did, but ca he casually did it, and instead of you know dodging it so he doesn't get really injured, he literally just dodged all of it, um, just for a shady. What the hell? And for durability, um, Greed takes it because his armor, you know, is better. And this is that it will take uh, quite a while for, you know, Bond for breaking through that armor. But it's actually, um, Greed and, you know, Diamond is tough, like, like I said during uh, <clears throat> the post analysis or pre analysis, whatever, whatever the thing is supposedly called. Um, diamond is extremely tough, or yeah, resistant. Within a, a, like a point of during the fight, it will you know certainly break with his um full armor and capsule, and it's and it's only his skin. If he did it anywhere else, he just keeps on killing himself. It's just pretty bad. I mean, like really bad. Um, and for so yeah. He takes durability just because of his diamond armor. And for skill and intelligence, he also takes it since he has 200 years of experience. Um, Bond is nowhere near that age. He's 41. He's, um, he's 41, but he looks like 27 or something. Um, and he has um, practically two, two. And you heard the saying, two branches better than one. And he's capable enough. Um, <clears throat> And that ability snatch is a really um, neat ability, so yeah, we get later into that. And for weaknesses, um, Bond is capable of the. Um, Bond's weaknesses is less, you know, bad than his. So, here I say, um, Bond being not really, um, not really trying or like serious during battle cancels out pretty much, you know. It cancels out that um, <clears throat> that greed and um, and <clears throat> um, Ling Ling Lao. Okay. At this point, I can't remember his name since I literally named the title Greed. Whatever is like kind of, is overconfident during battle. So yeah, those two cancel each other out. But the other ones, you know, has a limit of things to snatch and the. Other one capable enough of um, dying after the f the fluff, the stone being destroyed. I can't even see that damn word. Um. So yeah, I think you no, know, but I will be capable enough to destroy the stone. Angry will not be capable enough. I think Bond could be killed, but Greed doesn't have the meaning to kill him. Like. And like incinerating his body or making his body to a bloody pulp, which you know could happen, but not with the right circumstances. And just saying real quick, this is the closest I could make the fight without putting prep. Without you know, why not? That's a word. That's a bad way to say it. Um. 
greed is um you know for the thing I said like the thing I'm trying to say is that if I allowed prep time on this channel greed would have got his ass handed to him or died instantaneously I know he will know about the snatch ability but the snatch ability was capable of to you know steal some guards teeth through armor and that's basically you know and that's what you know what um, greed skin is you know armor if Bond was capable of to steal teeth from there I think he's capable enough to steal his full off for shit. Um, damn freaking word I can't say. That stone inside of his body. I think he's capable of the, like, if he has prep time, he could literally just, you know, use his ability to snatch, grab the stone, and smash it, and just kill him right there. It's like, what the hell? So, yeah, no prep time. That would be too overpowered. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope you guys see the next video starting about it. Next starting of Combat Insanity. So yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.